and okay hi guys it's chef zoe and today this is such an impromptu video we're celebrating international women's day today so i decided to drop a little video out about how i have evolved as a woman all these years i'm gonna drop this down i hope the sound is still good and sorry i keep looking away from the camera i'm filming my phone i had no setup i just use my makeup for something to try to shoot some TikTok, and i'm like okay you know what it's international women's day today i wanted to share um, a bit about my journey about being a woman there's some construction going on i'm expanding my back hair to be able to take some of my orders um it's hard trying to take orders and create contests at the same time so that's me i had to like expand my backyard so that um Ooh, so that others can be happening there while i can still create my content for you guys anyways um i wanted to share my journey as a woman how i'm involved as a woman how i have i'm beginning to finally come into myself as a woman growing up i personally i am a victim of sexual abuse so one of the things that being a victim of sexual abuse causes for you is um, low self-esteem and you find yourself you know so low self-esteem low self-worth and generally it builds up and unfortunately unfortunately most of our homes are not equipped to handle situations like that so i never spoke about it as a child i had to go through my first um, sexual abuse when i was about four in primary four and just back then our parents were more into raising children in fear than for actually creating a situation where your child can come to you with their issues and just try to you know speak to you about them that was not what we had back then so it kind of make it it kind of made it really hard to speak on it and i ended up bearing a lot of that and that ends up that's one thing as women though um both men when it comes to sexual abuse it just ends up bringing these thoughts into your head that kind of makes you question who you are question your value question your self-worth and i had to deal with that at a very young age so that ended up showing up in different parts of my life and it kind of made me i feel like a late bloomer i feel like i got to start enjoying my womanhood when i was way past my 30s because i had to deal with a lot of the insecurities the loss of self-esteem blah 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 i had to deal with um, sexual assault but i like to share i like to share what um i like to share what it's it's like to me what it's been like evolving into a woman that i am today and some of the ideas that i thought were, were okay that i ended up find out it was as a result of trauma that i had those ideas i shared about women and friendship first things first i remember growing up and wanting to dress like a tomboy because i felt like that made me look cooler but being an adult in therapy and I kind of do this self therapy where I start to analyze all of the decisions where I made and I start to see how to, how this connected to the trauma that I carried from my teenage age. And uh, one of the things I found out like when I wanted to be a tomboy was I wanted to, I felt like it was making me look cool, but I didn't realize it was because I hated my body after everything had gone through as a young girl and i always i am still comfortable unfortunately it's weird i have i still have to deal with uh, body dysmorphia or whatever it's called because i kind of like would i'm a size 12 but i'll show up a size 14. that's right if you see me most times i'm in comfortable clothes because i feel like i have to cover my boobs but back then it was my boobs now it's my tummy i have to cover my big belly but back then <laughs> It was my boobs I had to cover because they were big and I used to feel very self-conscious about my boobs and I used to feel very self-conscious about the fact that I was so skinny. I was so skinny but I had boobs so I was so self-conscious with the fact that I felt like I didn't have everybody's bakasi. But then I had this huge breasts that were just so uncomfortable. And until now I'm just like not a big fan of breasts but I <laughs> have to deal with it is my boobs. But the thing is, I had to deal with a lot of this um, 
um, issues as a teenager, as a young girl. And um, I love my mother, I love my father. I love the home I grew up in, but as an adult, I'm beginning to understand that they gave me what they had. So I had to go and start looking for these um, affirmations and confirmations of who I am for by myself. You know, it wasn't something that was put into me. Nobody, everybody was more focused on getting good grades at school and marrying you off at an early age that nobody really stopped to say, oh, I love you. You're doing the best that you can, you know, you get through this, you know, so that i have to deal with and learn how to you know speak to myself about that but being a woman evolving into a woman and finding out and embracing my femininity my femininity and embracing my feminine <laughs> wow <laughs> took a lot of soul searching and i had to literally do that myself like i said this video wasn't i didn't prop my camera out this is just my phone and one ring light in my bedroom and i quickly grabbed the mic because i just wanted to share what it's been like you know this whole time like right now this morning i woke up i was dancing and exercising and really enjoying myself as a woman full part and all thick arms at all i'm loving my tattoos i'm loving my shape i'm loving my flat ass it's not that flat but it's flat you know because it's a flat the flat tin you know i'm loving that i'm loving my coily hair just take a look at that texture i love like everything about myself i'm loving my skin i'm loving you know even the gap in my teeth that i'm supposed to fix in a few weeks you know stuff like that i have to learn how to love all these parts myself and while we want to celebrate women's day unfortunately i i have been in situations where it was my fellow women woman that actually made me much much more self-conscious than i've ever been but it was also still women who kind of told me that you're doing okay you're doing well at the end of the day so there's always you know two sides of a coin and stuff like that so i had to deal with um before i start rambling away i'm trying to get this video done as fast as possible because neck pa and their issues and i think the estate made an announcement that the lights were gonna go up very soon anyways um i was i was talking initially about me wearing baggy clothes and stuff like that but now until now having to deal with that but i'm okay with it like i've learned how to look for clothes that you know can be sexy and fun and i still will be comfortable in so period i'm still gonna slay i'm still gonna look this good anywhere anytime so apart from the dressing like a tomboy which i finally found out that it was um just from a place of trauma that i felt like that looked better um there was also the part of me always saying when i was growing up that oh um i don't like hanging out with girls i just boys are way more cooler to hang out with i didn't even realize what place that was coming from until i still you know self-analyzing most of the decisions i made and i also realized that that statement and anybody that makes that statement comes from a place of um, insecurity, from a place of distrust, um, either by bad experiences by girls, because you know, we girls, we tend to do ourselves, so let's not even lie. Um, but also from a place of insecurity where you feel like you see other girls and you see their life well put together and you see them shining and then you feel like, oh, if I'm by these girls, I won't shine. You know bright enough so you feel like oh i'd rather hang out with some boys let me be the only girl there so that you can't be you know that the ones you know around if a girl if a guy comes and tells you oh you look good today you just boost your you know boost your home your endorphins or is that what they call it i'm having a hard day today putting the words together but yeah, yeah, yeah. um that's how we tend to, you know, that's how I realized that was where that mentality was coming from when we said, oh, I always, and I rather hang out with boys. But seriously, sisterhood, women who can actually come together and put it, as in, do not give me a reason to distrust you. Do, if once there's no jealousy, when there's no envy, once there's nothing like that, once you do not allow any man pick you against each other, you find out that when you have circles of real genuine friends, it's amazing. I was helped, we were at a shoot the other day, my friend Chiri, um, or Ruth, as some of you may know her, 
has a workout line and she wanted all of us to you know be a part of her shoot and i didn't even think about my body or my tummy i just like i was just going there to support my friend and i would do my best to get all the poses that she needed and the makeup artist said something that oh that he heard that would be friends for a while now but he's actually seen all of us together for the first time and then He's seen the genuine support, the genuine love, the vibe. It was so easy. Everybody was enjoying themselves because we're working with ourselves. So the, the environment was beautiful. The environment was live. It was food, it was drinks, everything. And he kept on saying to me like, oh, mother, he's never really seen a group of friends who were like genuinely just so down to earth with each other. There was no errors around. And that is what i believe womanhood is i feel like i feel like being a woman is not just coming on social media and putting a post about being a woman is how safe is your fellow woman in your circle how safe is she does she come to you and let down her hair does she come to you uh even if she's not feeling good enough and her energy is boosted up are you the type of woman that looks at another woman and then be like oh um what are you wearing you know those are not versaches those are not louis vuitton second hand with people who don't have are you that type of woman you need to check yourself this day was not made for you i'm sorry someone had to say it this day was not made for another woman who would make another woman this day was not made for a woman who would make another woman feel any less of herself it's okay all fingers are not equal you might have versace bags you might have hemi slippers and your fellow girl that likes to live within her means, enjoying her Zara in peace. You use that as a reason why you would not bring her into your circle. This day is not meant for that. This day is not meant for women who judge another woman based on their physical attributes or their material gains or that. I, today is not for you, I'm sorry. Today is a day for women who would create spaces for everybody to feel like themselves for women who don't want to pretend for women who want to be friends with you for for just being you i want a situation when you can come to my house and eat on the floor with me and if my streets are not tired or if my if my bathrooms are not tired or if i live in like a warm bedroom apartment i want you to come there and feel comfortable and when i come to your mansion i want to feel as comfortable as well that a safe place a safe place that will not make me realize i would never feel like i'm different from you because our finances are different our you know backgrounds are different that is what it is and also the title of this international women's day celebration happens to be about breaking the bias we always want to push our me message out to the men to kind of like insert ourselves to a place where we're like okay yes we're women we deserve respect and stuff which i am a big fan of but we also have to speak about the circles where it was is our own women who are quick to laugh at us when we fall down who are quick to pray for us to fall down who are quick to dig the holes in front of us so that we can fall down. We need to check that. We should not pick up a day in the year and start posting about being a strong woman. Nah. 365 out of 365 days in a year. I need you women to come out and create safe spaces for other women to feel okay in their career, in their homes you know the one that baffles me is how women are the ones that tend to even create categories for themselves oh i'm married now so i need to have married friends and don't marry people shit okay i didn't know that all of a sudden you're making your single friends around you feel like oh being single is some sort of crime because you know share i have married friends that share their time between the single and the married people that's how it's supposed to be done but do not ever for one day make another girl feel because she's not tied to a man that she's not worthy of being in your presence or in your circle or you create activities that doesn't include 
a woman who is single, we need to check those things, you know. We are the ones that create those bias as well. So if we're breaking it, let's break it. We have to, it's bad enough that we have to deal with this patriarchy in Nigeria where there are men that just don't see your mother. There are men, even, yeah, some of us are in relationships with men who don't see you past the figure you have and your position on the bed. We already have to deal with that because that's the society that the type of men, um, unfortunately, uh, the generation before us have raised. You know, so is it bad enough that we have to deal with that when we're trying to get more seats on Senate and they're turning down that bill and they're trying to, you know, there's so many. If you if you read up on the news on what is happening in the Senate, you just be so sad because it's very obvious that they don't see us as anything. You know so that's why is this also this bias that you know even if a woman is doing well for herself or that there has to be a man there sponsoring it i used to be guilty of that shit. like i didn't realize until i started healing that it was coming from a place of insecurity because i'm like i'm putting in my effort i'm not seeing uh the work yet but I take another woman and I want to dissect. I say, okay, yes, let's see. But she have a rich father. She doesn't have a rich father, then she has a rich boyfriend. So the day maybe a gist comes out on the blogs and they're like, oh, they was, she was seen with this rich man. I'm like, hey, hey, I talk am um, not be buying power. No more that because me too, I be struggle, you know. But everybody, like I said earlier, all fingers are not equal. Everybody's has their own time to get to wherever they are going to. I know that now there was a time in my life when I used to think like that. I'm not going to come here and act like my life has been, always been perfect. No, my life has been filled with all sorts of trauma. My life has been filled with all sorts of trauma responses. My life has been filled with all sorts of PTSD, insecurities, self-worth issues. Yes, man. Yes, man. People pleasing. Yes. My life has been filled with all sorts of that. But part of myself, part of me healing is also realizing that seeing through these things, you know, you, it's, generally what i'm trying to say is is happy is international women's day this video is probably going to be dropping like the next day after because i'm gonna have to take time to edit it but i would really love for us to you know be be more invested in creating safe places amongst us which are women for ourselves and trying to force these men who have grown up under the society that has taught them patriarchy is the way to live it's very hard for you to change people that things have been ingrained into them through true religion and true tradition so the only way we can help ourselves is we are the ones here it's almost like um look at the case of racism it's black or white Black people have to start speaking up and elevating themselves so that their voices can be heard. We as women need to start being our own cheerleader, need to start fighting for our own causes, need to start pushing our own women ahead. That's the truth. We can't just let be focused most times, anytime it's International Women's Day, focus on trying to get these men to listen to you. Even the Bible says when two or three are gathered, you know, things can happen. So when we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten group of women who are creating safe spaces around themselves for them to develop, to become a better version of themselves. And you think within a year's time that those women won't be controlling their field of or their careers. Ah no. Let's let's do this for ourselves. That's just the message I want to share. I don't know if I should be I'm supposed to have like a video up, a recipe video up that I haven't finished recording. So I'm also using this as an excuse to look at my fine face. God, girl, you're so beautiful. It's International Women's Day, and you look this sexy. My nails look nice. My tattoos look nice. My hair looks nice. My makeup looks nice. I can't keep stop. I can't stop staring at myself at the camera. But the truth is, Happy International Women's Day to all my women out there. Sorry, I just decided to do like a little rant. I don't know how this thing is going to be taken by different people, but I really do love women. I love women. We're hot, we're sexy. We are the point of creation. 
you know without women there will be no creation there will be no workforce but but the point of creation we are creation itself we are goddesses i'd like us to treat ourselves with much more respect i'd like us to elevate ourselves if we can't get this men to listen let's create let's create something that would be so in sync they would have to listen anyway with that um so last week's video that was also dropped, so going to be dropping this week. It's introduction to baking. Um, yeah, let's go cook something, bake something, bake some cake. Bye.